Welcome to Real Physics. My book Einstein's Nightmare just got published. It's in German, but I think uh, my English followers might be interested, so I tell you a little bit about the content. And it's about America and Europe. Don't be offended, okay? If you follow my channel and if you look at modern physics, you realize that modern physics has a problem. These multidimensional fantasies of string theory or also nonsensical particles of supersymmetry on the one hand side and on the other hand these huge accelerators which are built without, uh, without a real sense. So um, we are in the midst of a crisis and many, many people are saying this. I however was interested, I mean how did it all came about? I mean, physics is something fantastic. It's the basis of our civilization. How, how could such a degeneration of physics occur? And it has to do with the differences in European and American thinking, so to speak. I'm talking about a culture of scientific procedure here. And, uh, well, modern science originated in Europe there, there is nothing to discuss about I mean you have these uh, Copernicus and Kepler and the physicists in Italy and France and and, um, and Great Britain who discovered all these fundamental laws of um, nature and until Einstein so um, these were independent thinkers geniuses often could permit themselves just to think about uh, the elementary questions of nature and then on the other hand look at the people who went to America at the end of the 19th century the beginning of the 20th century um, often they were not rich but very smart very energetic very dynamic very courageous okay and they were cooperative and they, they uh, yeah, were able to build a lot of things um, for which Europe was too bureaucratic, too old-fashioned. Yeah, maybe the best example is the Wright brothers. Yeah, <laughs> the European theoretician proved that it was impossible that uh, a body could uh, uh, stay in air, and they just built it. Okay. Uh, so America managed to do a lot of projects, big projects, and Europe was unable to do, but. On the other hand, um, this very deep thinking about the laws of nature, this pondering over elementary questions, it's not what Americans particularly like to do. And, um, you know, I mean, Dirac in, in England, he spent almost uh, uh, his, his uh, second half of his life pondering about the mass ratio of the proton of the electron. Einstein tried to unify uh, gravity and electromagnetism. Nobody in America was interested. They superficially admired him in Princeton, but nobody was really um, uh, following him. Heisenberg, interestingly, in his autobiography, mentions about the problems of quantum mechanics. He says, he talked to an American physicist in 1929. Look, we are desperate. Uh, there is one experiment in which an electron behaves as a particle and the other experiment in which it behaves as a wave. We don't know how to understand this, how to, uh, how to put up with this. The response, what's the problem? Okay. So, um, there were a lot of unsolved riddles in physics in the 1930s and then what happened in Germany uh, the center of scientific research and, and physics I mean we expelled all practically all the intelligence and started a world war I mean how stupid do you have to be to do this okay and at the end of this war um, the world power was decided by who had the atomic bomb and this was the most uh, important project so to speak of physics and that that changed a lot physics i mean imagine i mean 15 years earlier p 
people were just gathering in a friendly way, international, everything is open, research, atomic physics. And then 15 years later, almost the entire elite working in secret laboratories um, uh, to keep this uh, atomic bomb uh, going. Um, so, and this changed physics a lot, the, the culture with which science was um, done. So at the end of the World War, I mean, physicists more or less, they didn't know what to do. And the guys who managed to, um, to build the bomb, we're talking of Compton, Lawrence, Oppenheimer, they immediately were considered the brightest, the best physicists. Come on. I mean, um, uh, smart people, very capable, but you don't have to be a genius to, to get this done, okay? So all these fundamental questions were dismissed in the following, and they started to build accelerators, and that's another accelerator, and another huge experiment, and we described the outcome by some, some numbers, and this is why, uh, uh, this is how eventually we ran into this mess of the standard model, in which a uh, huge experiment are described by a, a huge number of unexplained parameters and nobody uh, nobody can explain all this mess okay so i think this is we have a problem here with a, a superficial culture of thinking and if you take a broader perspective that's uh, what bothers our civilization in uh, uh yeah at many uh, in many fields we have a problem with our financial system. I think we have a problem with climate, the climate with um, the extinction of species and uh, a problem that all these atomic weapons could explode with a, a stupid uh, coincidence every day. So we're not really, um, we're not treating the planet very well. And um, I think we don't understand the laws of nature um, in a proper way and we don't care about nature in a proper way and uh, I think we need to start thinking more thoroughly and if I can help a little bit with this I shall be happy. Thanks for watching, don't forget to like and subscribe to this channel.